Hey guys, welcome to Saints TV round 21 preview. The teams are out. I'm looking at them right now. I haven't read them. Let's have a look. I haven't done this before, but it's something different. Let's see what my reaction is to the teams and let's see what your reaction is to the teams. So out is Jade Gresham injured. We know that. Dalton Langlands injured and Dan McKenzie omitted. Now for the ins, Blake Akers, the GOAT, is back. Dan Hanabry, Jack Nunes, although I don't think he's going to play because he's lost five kilos with gastro, so I don't think he's coming straight back in. Ben Patton, Bailey Rice, Sam Rowe for the 10 millionth time for his debut. And lastly, Jack Steven. <laughs> There's a lot of ins there. There's only a few outs. Um, Frio have got an um, extended bench, so they've brought in Ballantyne, Collier, McCarthy, and Nyhaus. Um, I, I think McKenzie, based on last week, it was a tricky one for him, but um, he played the best that he could. Uh, a lot of people get, ha you know, are hanging some crap on him, but um, when you've got the amount of injuries we've got in the back half, I feel like, you know, he's, he's going to get a game. Um, but this week, with obviously no Jimmy Webster there is a surprising one, I've just realised. They talked him up all week as coming back, but looks like no Jimmy Webster for us. Um, overall, they're, they're pretty strong ins. You know, and you know what you're going to get from Akers, you know what you're going to get from Hanabry, from Stephen, Ben Patton, these sort of guys. Um, I think Stephen will be one of the, the players to get in. I'm not sure if Hanabry will, but we'll see. Maybe they've just named him just to show that you know he is fit. Whether he plays or not is another question, so we're going to have to wait until 5 p.m. tomorrow to see the, the actual team. This is an extended team. Um, let's go into the actual game itself. I thought last week we played well against Adelaide um, in patches. You know, We were chasing the game for most of it, but I thought for a little bit of it that we had a big chance and we just couldn't take it. We couldn't convert our inside 50s. Um, although Membry and Bruce played pretty well, I thought midfield played really well. A lot of clearances back half could be better. Um, but this we're going into Fremantle, they're coming off a big win against Geelong at home and Frio at home versus Frio away. Um, it's a different, you know, different problem. Uh, although they did play the MCG recently and they did beat Collingwood, so they're not bad on the road, but they're not great, similar to us. Um, I back us in for this game. I think that we've been really good at Marvel lately, particularly under Brett Ratton, and I think that if we can you know, utilize Marshall, because he's obviously going up against um, Sanderland. So Sanderland will most likely win the hitouts, uh, but I think if our midfield can break even and Rowan Marshall can get going around the ground, um, I think we're in for a big shout, guys. I really do. Uh, comment below, tell me what you guys think. Um, I'll answer the comments after the video. I'm in a bit of a rush, so I won't have time to answer your comments during the video, unfortunately, but um, Keep them coming and I'll respond when I see them. I do most of the time and if I miss any, just keep bugging me and I'll respond when I can. Um, are you guys happy with these ends? I, I'm pretty... I mean, I'm, they're more than what I thought they would be. I think Langlands has probably deserved a rest. He's had three weeks now and I thought he played well for 15, 20 minutes last week in that first quarter. Where he came in and he had five, six possessions. I think he only had two or three for the rest of the game after that. So, um, not great from him. McKenzie omitted, that's fair. And I think, you know, Gresham with his fractured eye socket, I think it was, I saw a photo, didn't look too good. So he's out for a couple of weeks. The ends are strong, so it's just a matter of what we pick for 5 p.m. tomorrow. I think that Akers plays. I'm thinking Akers, Stephen, and Ben Patton would be my picks. I wouldn't play Hanabry. Uh, what's the point? You know, if he injures himself again, then he's just going to delay his preseason. But if he's fit, if he's fit, if he's fit, you know, but if he's half on the edge, I wouldn't play him. Um, I think that we can beat Fremantle without him, especially if Jack Stephen plays. I think that the crowd will get behind him, uh, hopefully anyway. I know that the news isn't great about him going to Geelong. It's not announced, but I think it's it's destined to happen. But hey, if we can get Brad Hill, uh, you know, players like that to the club, uh, nominating us, which he's rumoured to do very soon, I'll take it. Honestly, I'll take it. I think that he's a great player and he's a player that we can accommodate. Um, in terms of Fremantle, what we're going to get from them, they're 
you know, they can be exciting at times. I know a lot of people give Ross Lyon shit for playing a boring style and defensive style of footy. Um, but a lot of the time when you watch them and they play at home like they did last week, they do, they attack, they run. You know, you've got to stop Hill, you've got to stop Walters. Walters is the one that kills us every time. Um, so we need someone to really lock down on him. And that's why I was hoping Webster would play, because he's got that mobility, he's, he's small enough, he's fast enough, he can play on him. Um, but, you know, when you've got, you know, a number of key backs out with him and Geary being out, I don't know who goes on him, you know. I think it might have to be a, you know, you're going to have to rest a, um, Wilkie maybe, you know. He's probably got the mobi mobility over a battle or Carlisle, but you get, it's going to be interesting to see what we do there. But I hope that, you know, it's our last home game for the ground, um, for the, for the year. I think it's 110. It's on Sunday. Um, you probably saw... Earlier in the week, I posted a compilation of all the chants from aisle 29. Uh, Matt Marsh, special mention to him because he's the one who runs it all and he comes up with a lot of great songs and um, tries to get the, cr the crowd really excited for all the games. So I think the best thing, guys, is to just... It's our last game at Marvel. Get to the game. I know it's a shit time. One o'clock on a Sunday. It's a terrible time, time slot for us. But just get to the game. It's a winnable game. Let's hope we get a good crowd. I want to see over 28,000. I'd love to see that. Um, Especially against a Fremantle team, you know, an interstate team like them. Not a huge supporter base in Melbourne, but I, I don't think that's an excuse. We, let's get to the ground. It might be the last time to see Jack Stephen at home in Saints colours. If anything, just come to cheer him on. Even to cheer for Brad Hill, you know, do what Geelong did for Dangerfield when he went to um, Geelong and played uh, for Adelaide in his last game. Let's do that for Brad Hill. Let's cheer him on. Let's get some chance going. Um, and if you do want to sit in aisle 29, just message us and I'll um, pass it on and hopefully we can hook you guys up and a lot of people have recently decided to sign up for it so it's been awesome um, and I also just wanted to mention this happened the other night I don't know if all of you spotted it but St Kilda Football Club shared one of my videos they shared it on Facebook and they shared it on fucking Instagram and I, it took me by surprise I was looking at the feed and I was scrolling like ah oh, that video looks that's my video um, and then it, it clicked, you know, wait, I didn't post that, and St Kilda posted and tagged me, and I got a lot of followers from it, got a lot of viewers from it, got a lot of attention from it. Um, so, thank you to you guys, you guys make this what it is. Um, I don't want to be all sappy because, you know, it's not like I'm going away or anything, I just thought I'd mention it because it was big news for me, but it's also big news for all the fans that follow this page, uh, because we're getting known, you know, our, our voice is getting bigger and bigger, and uh, that's really important and basically why I created this page. So thank you very much for that. Um, I hope, hope you like this preview. Um, I'm going to do a, obviously my normal live review after the game. Um, but tonight I couldn't do my live preview. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Please comment. I'll respond when I can. Like, comment, share the video, subscribe on YouTube as well. On Instagram, Saints TV Official and Spotify Saints TV. See you guys soon. Go Saints.